Well then, it's time. Welcome to the first episode ever, boys. You ready for this? No BS. <laughs> Goon Squad. You really need a song playing right now. Yeah. Well, there <laughs> super, will be a song. Super oh, awkwardly yeah. glad. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but welcome everyone to the first episode. Uh, Goon Squad is going to be about sports betting, not about gambling. Remember, gambling no right? gambling. No, we're going to give our uh, advice on college. Not, not advice. Not advice. Not advice. We're not giving advice. our opinion. 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 We're just talking. We're just a bunch of friends. <laughs> messed up on the first episode. We're just a bunch of friends talking about sports and it's going to be great. Yes, we are. That's all. This is all presented by Black Mammoth, which we all are somewhat informed of working for um so we appreciate it but uh we're gonna kick this off with giving a background of who we are um and what we're about so that way you don't think it's just four goons um talking about sports that was a good plug that was good that was good so uh let's who's first who's first you gotta start at the end it's got it's got go story first yeah, it's, uh, all right i'll go first go start at the end just the table. Go. so on here we're just talking about sports a uh, little bit of background on myself i wrestled up at uni northern iowa if you guys don't know what you and I is, <laughs> Stoy's, Stoy's hitting that because Drake and you and I have a little bit of rival. Um, Drake is where Stoy went. That is where Stoy we'll went. Get there. We'll get there. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Uh, wrestled up there for a couple years, had some uh, pretty significant injuries that cut the career short, but we'll give, we'll give a schwa- shout out to uh, Doug Schwab and the Panther Train. Uh, good luck this year, fellas. And also, we're just going to say Go Cats. Josh, you'll you'll have to feed into that later. <laughs> no comment for me yet. Uh, like obviously you've heard, uh, Drake University. Shout out to Coach Charles. R.I.P. He's the only reason I went to Drake, and probably the only reason I'm sitting here um, as well. Um, shout out to a couple of the guys that we've lost over the last few years: uh, Nick Shinye and Keen Campbell, um, A.K.A. Baby Arm and Cool Breeze. Um, definitely appreciate those guys. But um, played at Drake. Um, I came in as a fullback from Omaha, Nebraska, and quickly realized that we had a new coach, and I have to go play linebacker, uh, which is, by the way, one of the best positions on the planet. We get to hit people, we get to catch the ball, we get to score, and weak receivers come across the middle and get. You don't call us weak. Tore. You don't up. call us weak. We get all the glory. Uh, graduated there and, and won a championship in 2011. Uh, got, some, got some boys that are coaching there now, so you'll get a little more feedback. Going to have a couple of those coaches on as well. Um, it's going to be a great year. Is it my turn now? Or yeah, Josh? No, it's That's you. You want me to go? Um, so I'm James. Um, I played a little football for Sacred Heart University in Connecticut, uh, where I was a receiver, which I don't know what Stoy has such a big issue with the receivers for, because we ain't never scared of no linebackers. I'll run a <laughs> slant right over you. We'll have a video of that later. No, we will. <laughs> Take some clips, okay? <laughs> uh, we'll get clips. Um, <laughs> The only difference between me and these guys is that I am from Connecticut, not the Midwest, uh, born and raised, and I moved out to Iowa for my beautiful children, Kinley and little James, who you guys will hear from soon because little James has no choice but to be on this podcast. Um, and that's my spiel. Josh? Yeah, my name's Josh. I went to Iowa State University. <laughs> the uh, Iowa that's State. That's it. The, that's it. I'm not. That's it. That's it. <laughs> he didn't play no sports. Right. That's no it. Sports. No sports. That's no it. Sports. So we move Next. on. Next. We're moving on. All right. Move on. Next. Next. We're moving on. Uh, let's, uh, let's chat a little more about our, our favorite teams. Obviously, where we played. I mean, that's. Well, that well, to really well be three of favorite. us played. Um, so obviously, we're going to have a little, uh, little background there. But uh, hey, Josh, since you went to Iowa State. <clears throat> Went, didn't play. No. Uh, but we'll hit upon that only a few wait, more times. Wait, wait, wait. But to Josh's credit, he was a – tell Josh, tell, tell us. I, I, Come on, tell us. Come on, Josh. I did win an intramural championship. No, no. He dabbled. <laughs> oh. I, I dabbled. <laughs> that was that. good. You know the buttons. I know the buttons. <laughs> what? This is good. I, I dabbled. This is it. good. So. I thought it was back-to-back champion. That was not back-to-back. The, we got it's seven. different sports. Oh, it's different, different sports. sports. Okay. But anyways. What was the other sport? Basketball. You do have a nice jumper. I'll, I can Thank co-sign you. that your jumper's Thank nice. You. I'll co-sign that. We play basketball. So what's your other favorite morning. Morning squad? Other favorite squad is definitely uh, Michigan. I mean, I don't know why. The, the sad part is, is I actually don't have a backstory behind this. And I honestly think it was from. There's got to uh, be some reason why you like so the Wolverines. So when I was little, uh, we played uh, 2003 NCAA football, 2003. One of the best video games ever oh, made. Oh, fantastic. And I, 
was trying to I'm just pick random teams. Actually, speaking of that, NCAA, I know you're listening. Please, we got to make this. <laughs> EA Sp- oh, sorry. EA Sports. EA Sports. EA we know you're listening. It's, it's in the game. game. It's in the game. <laughs> uh, Road to Glory, though, has to be on there. <laughs> no, but seriously, uh, honestly, I was kind of just going through teams, and I came across Michigan, and I, dumb as this sounds, I came across them, and they had the biggest stadium, most fans attending, so I assumed that they would be the loudest stadium, so I picked Michigan. Is this a joke? This is really no, this is Michigan. This is legit. Tell me this is a joke. This was at six years old, by the way. Okay, six well, then years it's old. Fine. Then it's fine. It's six cute. years old. It's cute at six. Six years old. Fifteen and did this. No, 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 no. No, this was at six years okay, old, fine. and that was the which team was about I six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, six. When I was six years old, came across this team, picked them, and ever since then, followed them, loved them. So. And, Please, I mean, JMJ, have a way better story. <laughs> yeah, for James, this, James, this is a great transition because yeah. uh, didn't Texas beat Michigan for a national title? Was it? Was that Michigan? Were you talking about Texas USC? No, Texas beat Michigan for a national title. That had to have been years ago. Yeah, that was a long oh, time ago. I, I have born in 1997. I just would like to. No, we uh, can't plug Google, can we? Oops. <laughs> We're going to have to search this. Search. We're going to have to search this. <laughs> On a web James, keep going though. Page. Oh yes. Yeah. So um, my favorite college football team is don't know is the Texas Longhorns. Uh, been a big fan ever since they were recruiting me to play football for them um, when I was in high school. And um, I also love their colors. And they also rule the Big Twelve. Well, for now. Well, for you're right. For now, <laughs> they rule the Big Twelve. Well, says everyone except for Oklahoma. Okay, I'm not. I don't care about Spencer Rattler. I'm just saying. I don't care about him. Um, so yes, I am a big Texas fan. That is who I follow. Um, yeah, the way. Yeah. I mean, if, if I watch college, I don't watch that much college actually like the rest of these. I follow them. I'll, I'll watch. I love tape. I'm a film guy. Love breaking down film. You'll probably, we'll probably be doing that on the podcast. I assume at some point. Um, but, uh, when I do, it's all about Florida state, baby. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Uh, mainly because I grew up uh, in the 90s. 2005, Ryan. <laughs> 2005. He was right. Uh, he was right. right. I don't mean hey. to cut you off, Stoy. No, he was right. He was right. Go ahead, Stoy. But following FSU, I mean, obviously all the players back then. Little Dion. Dion went to, obviously, my, my favorite NFL team, the Falcons, um, which we'll get to next week. However, you know, Florida State, Bobby Bowden, rest in peace. Uh, greatest coaches ever, I believe. Yes. Um, really, although being really, from really Nebraska, great. everyone thinks yeah. I follow and love Nebraska. That's, uh, it's not, that's a false narrative. I keep up Trash. with them because I have to. Uh, <laughs> Trash. But it's all about Florida State outside of Drake University. Speaking of Nebraska, did anybody hear what Scott Frost said on his press conference after that Illinois game? We did not. Would you enlighten us? Uh, Scott Frost, when they asked why he wasn't essentially ready for this game, he said, we only practiced against one of their fronts. And they threw a different front at us, and we weren't ready. Please tell me that wasn't like exactly what he said. I think that's verbatim what this man said. He said that they threw a different front at us, and we just weren't ready. Hey, you're an offensive guy, right? Right? In practice, how many fronts in different schemes and looks did you always game plan for? Uh, all of them. All of them. All of them that we can see. All on. of them. Yep. This is a college football coach that said this on uh, Ryan, your turn. <laughs> I, I can't i can't sometimes with these people i can't i just can't uh I, I mean i'm a little bit like stoy i love watching college football but i don't necessarily have a team outside of you and i i grew up 25 minutes down the road so i've i've always been a you and i fan mom went to you and i so i i haven't gotten into any of the other state schools or any schools around the country i just like watching college football I like watching people hit each other so that's that's, that's the wrestler thing. that's the wrestler in them yeah. Amen. Yeah. I almost went to you and I. Did you know that? To play soccer? No, to play football. <laughs> oh. Football. Went to camp there. Football. And uh, was MVP of the camp as a, as a running back, which is funny because I was a fullback. Almost went there and decided not to. And wow. So now we're going to have to ask, why did you take Drake over you and I? Well, honestly, I wanted to go to a place that had fullbacks, and Drake was one of the main ones. I knew education was important. Um, because I was a little too short, a little too fat, definitely a little too slow to go to the pro. <laughs> so I wanted to go somewhere, and, and we all wanted to stay close to home. Obviously, we all stayed close to home, Very as true. opposed to you know, going to Southern Miss or FSU or somewhere there and walking on. And um, Don't regret it, but it would have been fun to go somewhere warm, because swimmers are 
Star Trek. I'm I'm gonna raise my hand because that was that was a big stab at you and I's education right there. I wanted <laughs> education was well, important. Does, does Drake? It, Drake, Drake is has clearly a, yeah, better Drake has than a you. Way better yeah. education than you and Let's I. Let's be right. Mm-hmm. It's a I, private, I agree with that. It's a I private would, school I versus a public school. It's not. It's not even the same. Just matter. by itself, that's just private public. I, I right. agree, but that private that was a big public. stab. Yeah, it's just a but truth. It's a fact. Was it a stab or was it truth? There, we're I just speaking facts. I believe that's facts. I believe that's facts, baby. We only speak about facts. That's all we talk. Well, and by only correction, our picks. Our opinions. <laughs> our opinions are not always facts. They're just our opinions. No, there are facts to us. That's very true. Right? Got me. Well, got him. Right. Got him. We need that one as a button. <laughs> <laughs> got you. Uh, marketing team, please make that uh, happen yep. for us. Yes. Thank you. And show. next. <laughs> All right. Well, let's dive into what betting is. Um, obviously, a lot of our uh, viewers will understand what money line over under spreads are. But James, truly, what are they? Uh, I'm just going to give you like a brief overview. I mean, it's not like a definition that well, I'm reading off of a website. I'm just going to tell you straight up. money line pick. Let's say that we have, for instance, we'll take the first game we're going to talk about, Alabama versus Miami. Money line on that game. Oh, it's got to be huge. It's really, it's really crazy. Just give me one second. It's got to be but like But for what? instance, just to keep talking, the money line is 2000? essentially you are picking, just picking a team straight up. There's no points. There's no point spread. You were just saying picking the winner. Uh, you're picking a winner. Yeah. I think Alabama is going to beat Miami, and I'm going to lay. Do you think or you know? I just, I really <laughs> think that this number is going to be something crooked. It's got to be huge. Minus 1,200. Wow. Okay? So that means that you're risking $12 to win one. Um, I don't think anyone in their right mind should ever be taking my opinion here. Money line picks like that. But that is what the money line is. You're essentially taking a team on their, that's not their points, but it's just what, it's straight up. And then. So in betting though, mm-hmm. when you see negative, negative means. They're the heavy favorite. They're the heavy favorite. Heavy, heavy, so you heavy have to favorite. bet more in order to win less. Correct. Because they are heavy, heavy favorites. And if it's a positive number, then therefore. Underdogs. You can bet less and make, make more. more. Correct. Cool. But I would never advise someone in a... Your never, opinion only. My opinion. My opinion only. Keep going. Story. Compliance <laughs> is going to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> When's that meeting? I ain't going to be there. <laughs> I have it weekly. And so Wednesdays, the I think. flip side of this, <laughs> the flip side of money line is, uh, I mean, it's the spread. So the spread for this Alabama, I'm going to stay on this game because if you guys don't know, um, I, I just, I would just, I'm going to ride Alabama until the wheels fall off. <laughs> Uh, I'm, gonna leave, I'm gonna say that. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna ride Alabama until the wheels James, fall off. You have, you have your Bama. Isn't, isn't that what we do though? Is you you keep betting it until it don't some, work. you give a reason not to. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Is that yep. the saying? Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For most people, it works. It happens. If it fits, yeah. it ships. Mm-hmm. If it fits, it ships. I Correct. like that. I like that. So uh, point spread. <laughs> uh, the point spread for Al- oh my goodness, it's moving. So, when we were talking about this an hour ago. And you said, <laughs> it's not going to move. So, Stoy got me hey, here. I want you to know. I'm going to check he here. Said it oh, no, no, Stoy, I'm going to give you the credit that you, you always Patrick. want. Good, I'm good. <laughs> so, Stoy said, Stoy said, let's wait until the show to put up the lines. And I'm like, well, you know, I don't think these lines are going to move that much. It's not, we got an hour until we're going to run our show. I put the spread up on the spreadsheet, and it was Alabama minus 18 and a half. I'm looking now on my FanDuel account. Alabama has gone up a point now to minus 19 and a half. So what People that means, are smart. What that means <laughs> is point spread despite this is that you are now saying that Alabama is going to win this game by 19 and a half points. So essentially what you're saying then is Miami, who's plus 19 and a half, they are starting the game with 19 and a half points. That's the easiest way for me to explain to people. Do you want to explain uh, the movement on that, what that means? I would love to. Perfect. Because like, I love when this stuff happens. <laughs> I love when this stuff happens. I wish I had a nerd alert button. <laughs> <laughs> I just love when the line nerd moves. Alert. I love when the line moves like this. I love it. So um, line movement means that there's some people in Las Vegas that we call the sharps or smart money. I'm air quoting. You can't see that. This is a podcast. Yeah, but those oh, that's right. Camera. Can't see I'm air quoting. <laughs> I'm air quoting. <laughs> It's our first time, guys. Sorry, we guys. apologize. This is, I think this has been awesome for the first 15 minutes. I don't know what the hell you guys think, but I think it's been great. So the point spread 
Miami essentially is starting this game. It, when the ball kicks off, it'll be 19 and a half to zero Miami. So essentially what that means is Alabama has to win this game by 20 points to cover the point spread. Um, we're going to talk about this later because sure, sure. I just have feelings. Um, <laughs> I thought you didn't have emotions. I would like to, to oh reference God, that. Shut let's up. let's move on to over under total points. Okay. Because child over there and James Jay getting in it. It's not. Gonna so be. um <laughs> no, we'll be here all night. The over under total points. Um, Las Vegas will set a total points on each game that they think that the teams combined teams combined will equal this amount of points. Um, I'm gonna go back to Alabama, Miami. Don't care. The total points for Alabama Miami is sitting at 61 and a half right now. Um, when I was talking about this two days ago, the total for Alabama Miami was 64. So, so it's going down. It's going down. What does that tell you? What is this telling us, podcast people? Super obvious. What is it? That people are betting the under. There is a bunch of people, again, the Sharps, we're going to call them because that's what they're called. We're in Las Vegas right now, putting large amounts of money on the under of this Alabama and Miami game. And that is what moves these lines. Smart money. The public does not ever move the line. It's always sharp money. By the way, quick uh, shout out to No BS Podcast when we're talking about wealth. Also in the markets, there are equivalent to Sharps institutionals that will be doing the same thing. Fun fact. That was a good plug. You like that? Very good. Oh, this man smooth the mic yeah. in his Woo! hand. <laughs> So what a plug. Ooh. Hey, uh, quick question before we move on to the picks, because uh, clearly that's the most important thing we're doing, is going to be what happens when it's a tie? What if it's 19 and they... You mean a push? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. want you to explain. That's exactly. why I said tie. Um, so that's a bigger question because it depends on the sports book you're using because some of them will honor a push mm -hmm. and you'll get your money back. Some of them will take your money and it kind of is a loss. Do we know what sports books do and do not do? That's, a, a, that's for another episode. Okay, another episode. Because there's so many different sports However, okay, okay. when there's a tie, it's called a push. Correct. And some give money back, others don't. Correct. So real quick, though, we're looking at FanDuel's live, live lines. FanDuel takes your money. They take your money. Correct. Okay. So that's, if you that's push what we're going FanDuel, you of. lose your money. All right. Well, that's I'm going to cool. be honest here. I'm not only using FanDuel because another thing we're going to talk about later on another show is you can find better points and better prices on different, different books. Sports books. So right. for instance, right now, I'm gonna look at this quick. I'm gonna go into the DraftKings sports book. I would assume though FanDuel probably has a lot of halves, so they don't have as many pushes. It's uh, Damn it, Stoy. How was this how was my fault? Can you go on your DraftKings please, Josh? Um so there, essentially and you keep losing the money. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I'm not supposed to say that. Uh can you go on DraftKings please? I don't, I don't have my phone. Can you get can someone please go on DraftKings? Is <laughs> yeah. this a joke? Is this a joke? We're on a betting podcast. I don't have my this phone. Is like, is this a joke? Hey, while he's pulling that up. Thank you. You, you, had, you have in our notes when you talk about lines moving, and there was a really big one for the first weekend of college football week zero. Um, with that Nebraska. I can't, I can't wait until you let me talk about this. So, uh, because it plays right into what I love so much. About what line happened, movement. and why are you so giddy about it? Um, the Nebraska and Illinois game, it opened. The line open at Nebraska minus 13 and a half. See, already. There's a, the line open at Nebraska minus 13 and a half. Quickly, that line was bet down to minus seven by game time. And we all saw, because we're all watching college football, we all saw what happened. Go Illini. Follow the money. So, I feel like I told you guys in a text my favorite play for that day was what? Illinois plus Illinois. seven. Can, no brainer. Can I, under. And I under. said the can under I, in Illinois hey, plus seven. No can brainer. Can I make a statement? About Please, that game? I love when because you talk this is the most frustrating. Here we thing go. In the world. Yeah, let him talk. Josh, if this is controversial, like you better look at that. that. You better look at the camera. Guys, am I allowed to get up and get yes, a drink? You're allowed to get up and get a drink. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. No, I feel like you need to hear. It. Oh, you can still hear. It. That's okay. Uh, I muted the wrong one. Yeah, I know. I noticed because I myself go mute. But anyways, that game. What was what was the under on that, James? So like 40, 42 and a half or all yeah. I know is the Miss PATs. <laughs> Thank you. That's what I was going to reference because guess what I took? I took the over. 
at yeah yeah play that all all day long because uh two not one but two missed pats decided that game you only needed to make one pat and in college in pat those pats are like what how many yards are they they gotta be like from the two and a half yard line right um do you guys understand how he didn't play college ball exactly high school debatable but yes but yes it's from the two and a half yard line thank you thank you so referencing that those are not difficult makes oh, to get brand out? Shoot. sorry guys shoot is the word i said shoot. uh <laughs> like shook like shook night go ahead but screwed Different me episode. over <laughs> People are like, do you yeah. know Suge Knight? Yeah. You know Suge Knight. And that's 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 about that's what. To be fair, you got to give Ve- Vegas some credit. They only missed it by half a point, or they they pretty much nailed it. Oh, uh, Josh, the house always wins. Yeah, I know. Oh, the, right, the always. house always wins. These I don't know how they know it because it, it freaks but they do. me out. Well, I but mean, sometimes these guys are dead on, and it's oh, so scary. All they do is they buzz down to the refs, and it ends it. That was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, every, everybody's sir, seen sir, the Buffalo need, Wild sir, Wings commercials. Hey, we don't talk oh, about yeah, baseball the Buffalo Wild Wings commercial. <laughs> yeah, right? Push the like button. Just, hit a sprinkler and make this guy trip. <laughs> <laughs> this show is going to be mainly about football and, and some golf. I but can't wait. can we, can we great. just baseball real quick? Come on. Have you seen some of these ump's calls? Yeah, Again, terrible. No comment? They're all rigged. Rigged. But no comment for me? That's MLB. Shout out Angel. Unless you're the Mets and you just can't hit the ball. Okay. Shout out Angel. The point of why I got so giddy to what Stoy was talking about is that when you see line movement like that, just like we do in, in the stock market, look at this. I'm plugging. I'm plugging. He's plugging. I'm plugging. When you see line movement like that, always follow the money. Always. Not, I'm, again, this is just my opinion. It's an opinion. Where my it's opinion. Not an advice or a fact. I have always follow the money. And that's, that's all I want to say about that. That's all I'm going to say about that. Okay. Now we got to move on to these games, no? I think it's time. Yeah. Is it time? Let's go. I think it's hey, time. hey, before before we do that though, and and make our picks, let's let's give a shout out to Coco Creatives, Terrence. These oh, yeah. guys, these Cheers. guys are making this happen. Terrence and the squad. Coco Creatives. None of us are smart enough to Coco. edit this, so we got we got to give those guys smart a shout enough. out. So smart enough to talk though, and they're I'm allowing me to touch buttons. That's just, just scary. And that's what I'm calling the Brian Mower button. Later episode. The fairy. No, <laughs> later episode. Thank oh, you. Okay. Sorry. My bad. My bad. All right, game one. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Game do one? We, like a, we don't have anything. We should get like something going up. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, something like <laughs> college football's here. The season's here. It's finally here. It's finally it's here. It's here. It is. It's here. Two days. So uh, what we think we're going to do, I'm taking that back. What we're going to do each week is pick, in our opinion, uh, the top five games of the weekend. It'll mostly be ranked teams. Because, I mean, that's, that's the best of the best. Dream of the crop, it's what you want to watch. So we picked our five games for this week. And we will start with, I'm not going to start right down. I'm going to throw a curveball. We're going to start with University of Louisiana Lafayette versus my Texas Longhorns. Oh, that's, that's a huge oh. curveball. Choose your Ooh, team. Huge curveball. Choose your Just team. That's a huge curveball. No <laughs> okay, well, let's I'm going start. to, I have the line written down, but. I oh, want to make sure change, it's it live. Changed. So live, live, prestige world. Um, live, live. So the when we started this yesterday, when I wrote this, it was Texas minus nine, minus nine and a half. Now, as we speak, Texas is minus eight and a half. Ooh, okay. And okay. the total when I typed this up yesterday was fifty nine and a half. Is now down to fifty seven and a half. Ooh. Ooh. With the juice <clears throat> on ULL. So. I'm going to start with my money line pick, obviously, is my Longhorns. What's the money line? Money line is, I think Texas is just winning. No, I meant. Oh, I'm sorry. The money line is uh, minus 325. So you're essentially risking $3.25 to win a dollar? Correct. Minus 325. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That so would be got, the money who line. Who got money pick. line? Who got money line? I'm, I'm going money line Texas big time. It's a no brainer for me. If you want, Homer. I can give you. So I, I mean, we're all going to do that. If so we're gonna, not so <laughs> what I could also do is I can give you more. You probably don't need to do that in Texas because you're going to pick Texas. Not every there's nine out of no, ten times. Nope. Unless it's Bama. No. Mm. Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't sport bet with my heart. If Texas is going to lose, they're going to lose, and I will bet against them. Yeah, but they're not losing this. They're not okay. using ULL. Okay. Um, cool. I know a team that did. Iowa State. 
I'm sorry. What Did year you is see that? How smooth that was. <laughs> I, I forgot. What year is it? All right, wait. Remember. You're all Texas. Oh, okay, cool. Money line. Uh, my money line pick is Texas. Okay. Fair enough. Josh. Josh, oh, what do you think? Super easy pick. I'm taking Texas all day. Money line. I mean, I'm, I'm going to follow suit here, be real original, and pick Texas. <laughs> nah, no, no. Uh, There's just no way. There's, it's just not. I don't see it. So, uh, there is, if we're going to give a little background about the game, I mean, there is, there is ways for ULL to win this game, right? So, last year, ULL was pretty good. Um, they ended the season in the top 25. They did. They are not a bad football team. I mean, they're, they're, they're ranked higher. Correct. In the they polls that we're looking at, higher. they're ranked higher. Yes, preseason polls, let's be real. But, <laughs> yes, preseason polls are about as accurate as, I don't know, nothing. 12 years shooting a beat Josh, again? Josh, oh. I'm making bets. Wow. Later. Wow. That's later. Right. So the reason why I like Texas in this game, and I don't know if you guys are going to, it's hard to disagree with me, is last year Texas averaged 475, 43 points a game. That's a lot. That's a lot of yards and a lot of points. That, that's a lot so of yards. Average 43 points a game. Correct. So all you're saying is, is uh, Texas ULL, ULL has this. Texas. They have to score 17 points. And then, and, or sorry, it moved down. I apologize. I didn't run it. So they have to score 16 points, 15 points, and then we hit the, hit the total. We'll talk about this later. But No, we can talk about the total right now. No, we'll talk about it now. Can we talk good. about the spread too? Cool. I just think but it, you're, you're saying they're averaging 43 points, so ULL only has to score 14 points. 14 points. For it to be 57 and a half. That's correct. All right, so what does that mean? Are you taking over under? Before, before I think I had it at the under, but... I'm switching. I'm, I'm going over on this game. So, Ryan, that's a great pick because another thing I'd love to talk about here is Texas plays no damn defense. That's what I was about to say. That, that, I mean, they play literally no the damn defense. Who 12. does in the Big, the 12. Big 12? No one so, in the Big 12 plays defense. That's a very you good Don't, don't you dare should, say. No, no, no. We're no we should, well, we're talking about the over-under, so what's your over-under picks all the way around? But we're talking about something else. Texas I, plays no damn defense. I, Ryan, I love Ryan says over, your I over pick. I'm, I'm going over. I got over. They play no damn defense. Well, then I'm going to be the oddball out, and I'm taking the under. Under 57 and a half. Follow the money. All day. Okay. That's fair. It's, it's valid. However, that's, that's a, UL is going to score about 23, and if Texas is going to win, they've got to score la, more. Last time I checked, uh, Vegas knows what they're talking about. So. They do. Uh, I'm with the baby bird. I'm taking the under, too. And that's cool. What's <laughs> gonna, what you're going to find out is I just, we don't do a lot of research. No. Nah. They do too much research. Well, J- James does a lot of research. Yeah. Let's be at honest. work, do not matter. And then he tells, <laughs> and then he tells Josh about his research. In it's a facto. Josh does a bunch of research. Then I gotta go check it out. Is he right? Is, <laughs> yeah. I, I need that nerd time. button. Where is my nerd button? Most of the time. Because uh, hey. so the equivalent of James in this podcast will be Josh in the next. Oh boy! Right? With the research, don't get me started. Abilities yeah. and by abilities, I mean time. Don't get me started. James, so, I was wondering what you were doing there. When you were typing everybody's name in there rather than the name of the team. But <laughs> which, which is, you guys, you you guys know, can't wait, see this. You know why. <laughs> you know why I'm doing that. Probably need to take a five minute break. Um, <laughs> so we're talking about the spread <laughs> breaks. No we, we went total. We went over, over, under, under. Story went over. Ryan so, over. So with a pause here, James, James is typing in our picks so we can, we can keep track all year. We have some bets at the end of the year. A few of them still, still to be named, but at least one of them is going to be uh, somebody's got to wear a jersey of the other three's choice every single week for the loser. All next season. All next season. We, we have some other ideas in the hopper. Um, we got a loser's trophy. <laughs> I'm sorry. The What's the bowl. hopper? The hopper. The- <laughs> What's the hopper? This is Dish Network. Hopper. The hopper. <laughs> but hey, on that though. How about we do one fan? Wait, what's How the about hopper? We let our Ooh, fans yeah, I like that. In the comments, I do like one of that. our That's bets. a good call. And what so we'll we, do, we'll take the top five, and, and then, then we'll, we'll do a Twitter poll or yes, something like that, yes. and we'll let you guys pick. It. Yes, love that. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, so, <laughs> so do we have? Do we have something? Say, say one of us gets worse than the fan pick. We're getting off. Topic that's got to be. We'll that's got to be a big one. We, we have a lot of episodes. All right, moving on to the spread. 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 Spread now is sitting at eight and a half. Eight and a half. Texas. It was, I, it, did it go it, up or down? It, it went down. It, it was went nine down and a half. half. It was nine and a half. All right, Ryan, what do you so got? What is, so listen, just, just so we all stay on the same okay. page. So what does that mean, though? What does that mean? That means. Mine's coming down. What's yes, it mean? Yes, sir. Vegas thinks that ULL is going to cover. Thank you. This is not that hard. 
It's not. And, and I'll go ahead and start with that. And regardless of the, the line that was before, I said ULL is going to cover. I'm, t- I'm taking ULL with the points. He did. He did say that. He did. Because they had all their picks before, and I said you should delete it, so we do it live. <laughs> but it's whatever. Go. I, I just, um, I get them. I get all that, but uh, I'm, uh, I go from the heart. I'm going to go with Texas on this one. I don't hate it. I'm going to go with I'm a, I'm a, I'm I, don't, I don't hate it. I'm going to take, take them with the points, baby. I don't hate it, but that's not what I'm taking. You're taking ULL. Oh, I'm taking ULL plus eight and a half all day. See, the, see the reason I do that is because the, the depth that Texas has now, which they haven't had in years past, and you know this. That's correct. It's true. Um, We're also not we'll, talking about Steve Sarkeesian coming in and our new coach. <laughs> hey. Our new co- my plot. You're right. So, <laughs> Steve Sarkeesian. Uh, also, Bama, right? And at the Falcons. And... What he'll bring to Texas will be pretty good for that offense. I mean, it, yep. it's dynamic. Yep. And their depth, I, I just don't think you all will be able to last the entire four quarters um, with Sarkeesian pulling it out. So I actually see it being close at half. Um, and then Texas scoring late, probably about 14. They'll win by about 14, 17 at the end. I think that's. I'm taking Texas by winning by two touchdowns. Yeah. That's very solid. I'm I don't taking disagree. Texas by two touchdowns. I don't Sorry, guys. With any of that. It's hard to argue that. But Jack follows the money. Uh, game two. Next game we're going to talk about here is Notre Dame versus Florida State Seminoles. Uh, Notre uh, Dame. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, also, shout out to the Braves. Also, the Braves shop. Oh, I love Braves it. Braves fan. More Braves line fan. movement. Um, I'm surrounded by Mets more. fans. It's more disgusting. Live more live? Oh, I thought you said. We're not going to do it. <laughs> Not gonna do it. We just I, no. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Stoy, you definitely said it's not gonna move, or it's gonna move. Right. James, not gonna move in an so hour. It doesn't move. Games. It rarely moves. We've It'll gone through two in. games already, in both times, both of them. The line is now moving. Yo, wait, it's not gonna move though. <laughs> <laughs> so when I typed this up, we had Notre Dame minus eight. Notre Dame is now sitting at minus seven and a half. Also, the point spread has gone down a half point from fifty six to fifty five and a half. Okay. I'm gonna, this is very easy for me. I'm taking Notre Dame money line all day. Um, they're too strong. Kelly knows what he's doing as a coach. Yeah. And that's really, they're too strong of a team. Yeah. It, I agree. And, unless there's a monsoon and there's a bunch of turnovers in the fields, the way it should be at Florida State some days, uh, you've got to take them. They also um, essentially have the best running back duo in all college football. With, and this isn't the game Notre Dame loses. We'll no, talk about that not later. Not the first one. I, Stop I it. can't disagree with that, especially because Florida State went three and six last year. So I don't even. This is notable. Last year was a pandemic year. Um, no. Two years ago. Doesn't does count. Yeah, two years ago. D- well, you know, we know what you meant. Three and six. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. yeah. You're right. So your money line pick is is Notre Dame. Yeah, fighting Irish. One one hundred percent Notre Dame. You guys will figure out later why. why? I'm I'm riding with Notre Dame. <laughs> yeah. For like the year. Oh yeah. You're riding. Don't give away the secret. Don't give okay. it away. Story. I said they'll guess. figure out later, what James. Uh, what's the total? Are we going uh, spread? Wait, did you take Notre Dame? Yeah. Okay. You don't listen. All picks for Notre Dame. As is true. I mean, he, he took Notre Dame <laughs> even though he's an FSU boy, so he's uh, smart. Spread sitting at minus seven and a half Notre Dame. Um, um, I'm taking four states my plus seven and a half. Oh, ballsy, and I like it, but okay. I'm going the other way. I'm going, I'm going Notre Dame minus seven and a half. I think they're going to cover. This one's tough. I, I, hey, so I, I'm going to... So this is, why, this is why I'm happy that we're doing this now. So there's a key number in betting, right? Yes. Always. There's two key numbers. Very. It's three and it's seven. Mm-hmm. Seven and a half is a scary, scary line. I'm calling it 10. Because a touchdown is what? In theory, make the PAT, Nebraska. Uh, seven. <coughs> three and seven are the key numbers in betting. They are. So once we get over that key number, I'm, I'm just... I like to play the stats. Oh, I, like, that's I like to play I like, the stats. Too. I like that. I like that, but I I had him before, and I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep going with him. I got Notre Dame minus seven and a half too. See, this one, um, this one's tough. Uh, brain says, brain says Notre Dame. Uh, heart goes with Florida State, and this is the only reason for this. And this is also why I'm gonna pick uh, the over. Two picks right here. Is the emotions of Florida State with Bobby Bowden? The electricity of that crowd, they're going to come out swinging hard. And if Notre Dame does this is not. It's so great that we have two football does people Does not. Show. I Notre love Dame. that you plugged that because that's. If Notre exactly. Dame does not 
step up and and come back hard on that one. Florida State. They're going to get hit in the mouth. They're going to get hit right. in the mouth. Florida State's going to be fired up. Yes. The stadium's going to yes. be rocking. And just like we said, Bobby Bowden is a legend. And they're going to have the whole Bobby Bowden thing. Right. Half legend. time's probably going to take a little longer. Right. All that stuff All is going to come into play. It's the first game of the year. So I'm, I'm going to go with the over and also I'm taking Florida State on the points. Yep. Really hard. Well, I'm going to go on the controversy and say the under. How's Con- that controversy? Because, because you took the over. Because you took oh. the over. So I'm taking the <laughs> but, under. But, the, but the, line's, he, the line's moving down. He meant to say uh, contrarian, not controversy. Yeah. Well, still taking the under. Mm-hmm. Under 55 and a half. Ryan? Josh, Josh, we got the exact same picks all the way across the board on this one. I'm, I'm taking the under on this one, too. Um, I, I just, I just, I think, I think Stoy's right. I think Notre Dame's going to get punched in the mouth maybe a little bit and not score as many, but I still think that they're going to, they're going to beat them by more than that. Uh, I'm riding with Stoy taking the over. I, I just don't, I think it's going to be a shootout. Um, Easy enough. I, I love the controversy. Why do I think it's going to be a shootout? The FSU defense is not good. It's very vulnerable. Um, I just I see a shootout happening. It's Next. gonna be good. Next game we got Indiana versus Iowa. Shout out, Coach Allen. Also my defense coordinator at Drake University. So this one is gonna be pretty pretty easy for me. And I don't like Iowa. So uh, <laughs> you're taking Indiana was, uh, across the board. Wow, across the board, it's Indiana, baby. Well, I didn't. We didn't talk about. It. Uh, he, he, he just got he so excited. Care. He doesn't care. He's, He's so excited. excited. He's like, I nope. I don't care what the point spread. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if it's Indiana. Indiana. It's Indiana. 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 Look at the camera and say that. <laughs> <laughs> you better zoom in. We got, that better be zoomed in. <laughs> when he looks over there, like that's got to be zoomed in. <laughs> No, I, well, I'll, th- I'll throw my money line pick in are there. We, just, we don't even know what the spread is. You guys are just so excited about Indiana. that yeah. What's the no, spread? We're going, we're going money line. I'm, right I'm going to say we're talking money about line. money line. Let's start right. money line. Go. All right, money line. Yeah, money line. Money line, I got Iowa. Go ahead, James. I mean, it's, give me, it's in Iowa City. Get, give what, me your what money is, line. Uh, what does that mean, though? What is, your, what is your reasoning for it being in Iowa City? What's I mean, I, You're saying because it's tough to play there and we're full fans now. Well, it's funny because Northwest yeah. beats them at home almost always. Who? He's not real. Western. Western. Who? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm riding with Ryan. I'm taking Iowa to win at home. Well, I I'm going with Stoy. I'm taking Indiana. It's my boy Blue. Uh, only because, you know, Indiana. Well, we're not to the spread pick yet, but <laughs> give me that spread. You also went to Iowa State, so. Give me, give really me that spread. The point spread, spread in this game when I typed this up yesterday is Iowa minus four and a half. It's three and a half, isn't it? We're down now to Iowa minus three and a half. I knew it. I knew it. You know what the best part about that is? Follow the money. Follow the money, but disagree. You're, you're dude, the Iowa. first time ever you're disagreeing I'm with I'm disagreeing. With, with you're taking Indiana. Iowa? No, 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 Indiana. What are you disagreeing with then? If you're following the money, that is what the money's going. It's no, going what? towards Indiana. I'm what? Ju- hey, hey. Look around. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Who? What just happened? Look away. <laughs> no, but seriously. Hello? That is you following the money. You're, Indiana is where the money is. I, I missed what you said. I got to be honest. I was looking at my sheet. <laughs> anyway, he's gonna he's gonna uh, take Indiana, points. I'm taking Indiana plus plus three and a half. Yeah. Uh, they're seven and zero against the spread last year, so mm-hmm. I'm taking that all day. Yep, 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 yep. Mm-hmm. I are sad. He he did say Indiana across the board. I'm gonna be the one outlier in this whole thing. I'm taking Iowa minus three and a half at home. Mm. I like it. I don't know why it's a, it's a gut pick, but I'm I'm going with it. I like Iowa. I mean, you know, there's got to be one loser. So, thank you, Ryan. Uh, fans? So That could be um, you. Possibly you. Possibly you. Um, just to, because like, we see a little diversity here in my pick because I took Iowa. Money line, right? And at the table. And what? Diversity. Oh, shit. <laughs> His plug skills are amazing. It's How do you even do that? Natural. It's, it's this is this is that big fancy league calling to ask if we're joining. We are. Can we can carry answer? live? Can live? I, yeah, carry. Let's carry. Go. We're carry. Carry. We're recording right now, and I know why you're calling me, and it's good because we're talking about football. Okay. I got. I got your boy Tucker on the line too. Tucker, what's up? 
Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will call you back later. Goodbye. We're in. <laughs> That was so fantastic. that was my friend Carrie, who is running a pretty intense dynasty. dynasty. We'll, talk about, we'll talk about that next Another time. episode. So it, as you'll see, my pick, I took Iowa money line, but I'm taking Indiana plus three and a half. So why is that? I'm just going to roll this into my pick with a total, right? I think this game, the score is going to be 18 to 15 or something close. stupid, stupid close and low scoring. Like most of Iowa's games. Agreed. The Iowa under. Might be one of my favorite bets to take Absolutely. every single game. Because guess what? Iowa. Five and a half? Guess so the Iowa, so it opened up when I wrote this, it was 46 and a half yesterday. It's now down to 45 and a half, the total. And guess what Iowa And it'll probably do. keep coming down. Yeah. Guess what Iowa doesn't do? Score. Score. And throw the ball. They don't throw, they don't score. <laughs> yeah. They're going to hand the ball to Goodson all game. And I, I think right here, right? I think the under has hit in the last seven of eight home games for Iowa. The under has hit. I'm not going to lie. I'm on that one too. Um, Indiana's defense, obviously, I played in Coach Allen's defense. It, I mean, they're stout. Uh, their offense scores more than Iowa's, though. And that's the biggest thing for me is, is that difference of the game is yeah. going to be Indiana's offense. So, agreed. But I mean, 45 and a half, I mean, that, it's a big 10 game. They yes, never score. Uh, Expect low they score. They never yeah. score. Uh, I, I'll, I mean, could be six to three. Doesn't really matter. So, so it sounds like we're all, we're all in agreement on this one on the under. I don't know how you can't be. First time. Oh, that's a group lock. That's, that's group a group lock. lock. That's a group lock. That's a group lock. That's a group lock. All on the under. That's a goon, that's a goon lock. Goon lock. Goon what? Lock. Yo, someone what? keep a mic in this man's hand of all times. <laughs> I mean, he's keeping it in his own hand. So. <laughs> <laughs> also, quick plug on that. Got uh, me. Reason, why are we holding our mics? Uh, we are not in our normal facility. Right? Are right. just getting built out our new office. We'll have yeah. a podcast room. Just, right now, we're in our partners. Just random plugs. I, oh, it's yeah. my thing. Wow. Uh, right now, we're in um, our partner's office, and uh, that's why we don't have this. Otherwise, we'll have boom mics. Shout out. And I'm pretty sure that'll be a mistake, and someone's going to be playing with it the whole oh, time. Oh, absolutely. And by somebody. James. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, next. So these are, we got two more games. No, we got we have four. We have our three college games. Our well, those that's you gotta you gotta leave the game of the week to the last. Yeah, that's I understand. Okay, so then maybe we should just blow through our own because, picks because well, we don't have easy. much. We don't have much. Back, we're all gonna take our own team. We don't yeah. have much background in these games, yeah. so I feel like we don't. Yeah, it just yeah. should not so be. Let's just go to so we're just gonna be so so we're just gonna go money line you picks. Got, you gotta pull them up. We don't. There, there's no lines for half these games. No, sir. there's no. Not. But there is for you and I. I see you. Oh, yeah, I have it. It's, it's not. You can't. Half. You can't bet it though. The spread in the total. Yep, it's down to four and a half. We'll talk about it's ISU. And, we'll talk about ISU and you, you and I. It's not in here. It's not. It's not in here. You can't bet on it. I have no idea. But it has nothing. No, there's no. Nope. It's not on FanDuel. It's not on DraftKings. It's not on Bovada. So where did that? Where did that four and a half? Let's let's okay. Let's just. So all right, we'll go to you. We'll go. So I played at Sacred Heart. They're playing Bucknell this weekend. Uh, that's who they played in the championship last two years ago. Um, when they were when they won the NEC, it was Sacred Heart versus Bucknell, and that's how they're opening season. And I think Sacred Heart gets them. There is no point total and spread for all that because it's Bucknell, more like Ducknell. <laughs> Obviously, going with Sacred Heart. That's bad. It's okay. Yeah, that's so bad. also, um, I have kids. Another plug for one of our teams. Uh, Stoy played for Drake. Drake's playing West Virginia Wesleyan this weekend. Do you? Um, do I I um, returning to a stout defense, one of the top 10 in the nation, actually, um, last year. Yeah, there's just no way a, a Wesleyan is going to. Who? Yeah. Mm -mm, not going to happen. And I'm pretty sure these Wesley. Pick, those two picks are across the board. I don't yes, think we have to talk much that about correct. that. No, 100%. But we do have to chat a little bit about this UNI ISU thing, Bob. Um, so I'm wondering, do we leave this for last? No, nah, we no, should talk now. Nah, right. Okay, talk now. Yeah. So, yeah, right, ISU. Yeah. Actually, you know what? I was. Let's let, the, let's let the boys go at it. It's their teams. Oh, that's true. Why, why would we be involved? Right. Okay. I'll just, right. Tell, I'll just let's tell you go. guys the spread. In a, yeah, yeah, please. The please, spread please. for this game, ISU, is favored by 37 and a half points. In, and that's it. Can, I, talk can about. I get the over under? The, the total, the total, the total, total. total points for this game, people, is 42 and a half. Cool, cool, cool. Ryan, start us off. So someone go ahead and explain this one to me. Go ahead, Ryan. Uh, my, my thoughts on this is I think you're insane if, Iowa, if you think that Iowa State's going to win by five touchdowns. I think you're absolutely insane. 
And what that, I mean, with that, with that over under, with that total at 42 and a half, that's basically saying Iowa State's going to win 42 0 or less. They're just saying you and I won't score. And I, one, I don't, I just don't see that happening whatsoever. I'm still going to be a homer and I'm still going to take you and I 100%. Whether that's a, whether money that's line? a, oh yeah, whether it's a good or bad pick, I'm 100% taking you and I money line. Who? And, I, and I'm absolutely. And I'm absolutely taking them to cover that spread. That spread is insane. The only person I might take on that spread is Bama. Uh, before you, before you, uh, you uh, pass on the mic, uh, what's your over-under pick? We don't pass the mic. My over-under pick? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Over. Over 42 and a half? Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool, <laughs> cool, cool. It's cool, like cool, he's cool. looking at him in the face saying, yeah, man. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so you we know, agree on something. I got to be honest. Yes, I am a Michigan fan, but ginormous Iowa State fan. Love them. Well, you did Love go there. So. I did go there, so I mean, going Makes to those sense. games. You grew up on the west side of the state. Oh, man. Electric. Being in that stadium, being in Jack Trice, oof, it, does, it doesn't get any better. I got to be honest. But strictly to business, Iowa State's going to win that game. Personally, I think it's going to be by, you know, 14 to 21 points. 37 and a half. It's way too many points. Iowa State man. has never. Never. Ever, never came out that hot. Never. And, and Josh, that Josh will ever. ever. Josh I don't will guarantee ever, anything. Ever. Josh will go back to it. Uh, Iowa State isn't always on fire in their first game. No. Never. No. Never on their first game. No, 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 no. Let's cancel the first game against you and I. That's very Let's true. Just pinpoint it. I mean, we, we, can, we can go How back to the last. How many losses did they have in the last six meetings? Probably four. It's just, it's not we good. Can, we can go back but, to the last meeting and everybody's saying, oh, you and I's got a bunch of returners, but that's returners from a three and four team in the spring. That doesn't matter to me. I'm still going. I'm still being a homer and going. You and I. I just don't see. You guys know that I love to come at you guys by with facts, facts, right? Yeah. I'm going to shoot you some facts right now about Iowa State. Um, in their opening games, 2016, they lost outright as a 23 point favorite. To Mm -hmm. who? Who's? I don't even know. It's not telling me who they played, but it doesn't matter. 2019, they won 29 26 in triple overtime as a 10 point favorite. Yes, they did. 2018. When they played against Drake as 40 and a half point favorites, they only won by how many points, Toy? Drake should have won that game. They won by only three. three Drake should have won the game. Was Iowa there, State was, it was 40 four. point favorites, I, and they only won by three points. One thing, real quick. Uh, who won the game? Oh, my God. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about how they're oh, not going to cover this outrageous okay. spread. No, they're not going to cover this. I want that spread. Kevin Hart meme where he just goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because, a, because who cares? We don't, it don't. That's not the point. The point is that is way too many points. Correct. That is I agree. way too many Being points. Being you nine by three will hurt your playoff chances. Mm-hmm. Not absolutely not. If, not, not if you uh, go and beat Oklahoma. We're all quiet Tell for me a I'm reason because he's got a point. <laughs> well, that's what well, he's got a point. Josh, he's quiet for a reason. He's got a point. But time out, time out. We'll, we'll wait till later when when Josh makes his can, makes his picks. Can we make our picks now? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, picks. go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. He's already said them all. Oh, you can go. Oh, uh, money line, ISU, uh, spread, no brainer. Um, no, it's a no brainer, right? And then total. <laughs> Wait, no over. brainer as in what? You know what the no brainer. Okay. Don't make good. me speak. I, you're right. You don't. Okay. So my pick, I'm taking ISU money line. Obviously, they're gonna win the damn game. Um, spread. I'm August. gonna scream this from the rooftops. I'm gonna be as it better be. No, you, you better can't. empty it. You better in empty your, in, it. In no, no. James's opinion, he's in my emptying opinion, it. emptying it. I'm emptying it on that plus 37 and a half. That is way too many points. If you can find it. I understand. That is true. So I understand. I'm going to say this. I understand you and I, their offense is not good. So this game is going to be maybe 30, 40 to 10 to 13 points. They're going to get a touchdown so somehow. Over. I'm going to take the over. Yeah, I'm going to take the over, too. I yeah. don't know if I said that, but I'm taking the over. Yeah. yeah. I, think that, I think those two were – I mean, I about, think I'm pretty sure that the, these picks, although a little competition yeah. here, were very – Very, very yeah. obvious. Just very obvious. Yes. Um, and I Go think cats. the reason that you can't make these bets is because it's too easy. Correct. Go cats. Someone done messed up. A.A. Ron. Well, that was easy. All right. Well, we, we have two those. games left. Two games. Two games left. James's favorite team to uh, bet on in college football. Let's just switch to that game. Yep. Uh, we got Alabama, number one team in the country, taking on number 22, Miami. 
Uh, the game is in Miami, Saturday, 2.30's kickoff. Uh, it's in Miami? I, I, you might want to double check that. Did it move? I think the hurricane? I think it's in Atlanta. It, oh, because the hurricane. Oh, no, 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 because I think it's Atlanta. It's a neutral No, it's site. a neutral site. Neutral site. That's why, oh, that's that's why right. I'm here. It's okay. Shout out Mercedes-Benz Dome. Shout out uh, so non-athlete knowing where the game is. Thank you. Narp. Narp. Nerd. So the Alert. spread on that game, we got Bama now sitting at 19 and a half. Uh, money line, excuse me, sitting at minus 1,200. And the over-under sitting at, excuse me again, 61 and a half points. Have you be okay? okay? It's the Palmers. It just, <laughs> just Shut out. It's apparently. the hops. No, no, no. It's just the, no, uh, no. It's the hops. I didn't I've, even. I've heard they recently that. added extra hops to this. <laughs> Um. So yeah, I mean, I am. It's your squad talk. Yeah, your squad. I mean, they're not my squad. It's just they're just who I follow because I mean, the whole point of this Bama. Well, the whole point of this is what to win money, right? Like we love money. Mm -hmm. Bama wins. Wins. You? No, no, no. No, I'm even go there. Bama wins. Bama wins football games and they they win them easily. Correct. Typically. So can you just give us all your picks real quick and then we'll just go just go across the board. Uh. This one's easy. Bama's covering that spread. It's going over 64 points. What's the line again? Isn't it at 61? 61 and a half. Yeah, he said 64. He said 64. That's what it started at. What so it the started line at moved. 64 has moved down now to 61 and a half. So you're going against Vegas. I'm going against Vegas because I think that Bama, <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Bama is going <laughs> blo- to blow them out, but Miami's going to score. So that's why I'm taking over. I'm thinking it's going to be like 45-30 because Miami's going to score. They're going to score a touchdown. What, because 45 bring, 30 is only late. 15 points. Oh. Math is hard. He, oh. he may or may not be her accountant. Is there a bun for that? He's right. Uh, there it is. That was a good one. I didn't mean. <laughs> I, didn't I just wanted to, you You're know. You're such a jerk. So <laughs> I'm thinking it'll be 49 to 30. Okay. 50 30. There oh. we go. It's well, 49, you know, that actually makes sense. Seven touchdowns. 50 30 Bama. Cool. I'm thinking it's going to be don't, a shootout. But you just don't say the score because your mask off. So let's just. <laughs> I just that's my pick. No, Go. no it's going to be a shootout. You're right. Yeah. Um, obviously, you got to take money line with Bama. There's just no way around that. Um, spread, spread's a tough one. I think late Miami might make a run. I just don't think it's going to be to cover. Who was the most profitable team to bet on last year in, in the first half of college football games? Alabama. So. To his point, Alabama will blow you out in the first half. In the second half, they're taking everybody out. Mm-hmm. So, and if your sec- and if their seconds are not as good as your first, correct, they'll come back. If not, well, you know what Bama does. Again, the most profitable bet last year was Alabama first half. Correct. Just okay. if you guys can, can I go? Can, can, oh, oh, Bama on the spread, and obviously, I mean, you're gonna take the over. It's gonna be a high scoring game. Again, we're doing this by the way on a Tuesday, Tuesday evening. Who? So weather might change. There might be some updates. So awesome. these lines are going to move. Lines are also going to move. They're also going to move. Correct. Right? Because we're doing on Tuesday. So pay attention. Correct. We're, so we're pay calling attention. things early. This pay attention to those lines. Pay attention to those lines. But, but fair warning, if, if you lock your bets in at these lines, then, then that doesn't move. So if you, if you come out and you make that bet at 18 and a half on that spread, your bet won't move at all. You locked it in there. True. Go uh, ahead, Ryan. Yeah, I'll, I'll absolutely go on that, and I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the exact same picks that these guys just did. I think Bama blows Miami out of the water, and I think Bama does what Bama does and scores a ton of points. That's. Are you going over or under? I said I'm gonna he's, stick with you guys across the board. He said he's gonna take the over. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's my bad. That's, that's okay. My bad. That's okay. I told you guys I needed to take a break. You won't let me. That's okay. That's all right. I'll go next. Uh. Can I take a break? Cool I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with, obviously, Alabama money line. No doubter there. Um, also, last year, um, Alabama, 8-3 and three against the spread. Um, and 7-4 and four in the over-under. So I'm going to take, and they were also 4-2 and two, um, when they're the away team, even though this is a neutral site. Uh, they were Nerd I, love, I love the stats you're throwing out here. They were also 4-2. and two. Uh, when they're the away team to cover the points, um, and they're seven and four when they're favorites. Uh, so I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Alabama. I'm gonna take Alabama spread and the over. So all day. So uh, that's clear across the board. That's no. Oh, that's, that's a no goon lock. Times that's a goon lock. Goon lock. Times three. What? Oh my god. What's up, Purdy? 
Uh, what was what was that? <laughs> you heard that too. You ever seen that movie Signs? <laughs> yeah. Remember the movie Signs? <laughs> And that creepy that thing walks exactly by. What That's what is. just happened. The oh, natives man. are going wild. Just like that movie signs like that it. thing creeped me out. I don't like hey, it. Quick plug again, by the way. Uh, would you guys call all the statistics and all the things you're pulling out technical analysis? Yeah. And we're I more fundamental? So. I would say that. You, you right. guys are doing your research. You well, you're I would doing say your research. You're finding the numbers. You're, yeah. you're technically yeah. analyzing mm-hmm. it. Yeah. It's kind of crazy how it uh, crossbreeds. Huh? Huh? Eh. Oh? Uh, What's the game of the week? What's the game of the week? Game of the week. Game of the week. Game of the week is number seven, Georgia, versus number three, Georgia. Clemson. Georgia. Mm. We better we better the, go. Uh, spread in this game has gone down. Ooh. Um, from Clemson three and a half to now Clemson two and a half. Ooh. The total also is coming down from fifty two to fifty one and a half. Um, I love everything about Georgia this year. I don't know how you can't. Amen. Um, so I honestly think they're just going to win the game straight up. Amen. James, so James, Georgia. that changed. I'll Since s- last time you and I talked, that changed. I will yep. second that. I've read. I know, on. You know, I've read. So uh, I'm taking Georgia money line, Georgia spread, and the under. When you say you read, you, you mean you read last night because you don't, you don't make your picks prematurely. You're right. You know I don't. So, yes, I was up reading last night. <laughs> um, that's a, that's a, that's a JMJ the, guys, thing. Me, he the was black reading. Afghan, were up reading all night. He was reading and doing research as we were setting up. That's what well, I do. I like fair. to read. Can you, can you blame him? But, I like to read. Uh, I'm actually going to mimic you. Um, this game is at Bank of America Stadium. Correct. Very nice um, stadium. So, uh, it is a neutral site that actually favors the Bulldogs because of this was at Clemson. I might actually take Clemson. This also favors the Bulldogs because they've played in the stadium correct. a couple times. Correct. They know I agree. this place. I agree. Um, and you're also talking SEC over ACC, so I'm taking that all day. I also think it's going to be pretty tough for Clemson to, to replace Trevor Lawrence and Travis Etienne. Um, I don't think that's those are easy this to choose was to ready. fill. DJ ukulele? Also, um, uh, love it. Sad thing for Etienne. With his, uh, yeah, that's tough. That's, yeah. tough. that's tough. That's tough. Thoughts that's out. Really that's real tough. But yeah, I agree with you, James. Did you just say thoughts and prayers? Yeah. That's okay. a good thing. Okay. No, I get it. Okay, moving on. Um, um, yeah, obviously, Moneyline Georgia on that one. Uh, spread also Georgia. And I'm actually going to go with the over. Uh, I, really, I really do think uh, the defenses might start a little slow. There's going to be some, a lot of wrinkles. They've been preparing for this for a long time. Um, and I think early on, they're going to score a lot of points. Second half will be a grinder, but I think by that time, the over will be, be hit. That's good. That's good. Uh, this is one of the games that, since it was the game of the week, that I actually looked at some stuff for. So, I like JT Daniels in Georgia. He's started more games than, he's than DJ. He's a stud. He's a stud, and he's started more Absolute games. He started more games than DJ Ukulele. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, so we're just going to say ukulele. So I, I'm going to take Georgia. Instagram? I'm going to take yeah, – exa- it's like u- ugulele it's or uga, ugulele. Yeah. It's like uga, it's ugulele. Yeah. So, yeah. so I'm going to take Georgia money line. Uh, so that's, that's another goons, goon lock right there. Um, I'm going to take Georgia in the spread for sure. I had him before, when, before the money line – or before the spread moved. Um, and then total-wise, I'm going over. Uh, DJ came in last year when they played Notre Dame, who's a good team, and he threw for 400 yards, and they put up some points against Notre Dame. So I, th- I think they're going to put up some points against Georgia. I'm not saying it's going to be a crazy amount, but I, I, think, they, I think they beat that, that total. The matchup to watch is, um, as most years, the Clemson defensive line is a bunch of freaks. They have, somehow, they have been for Right. Ever. Somehow Dabble Sweeney gets freaks on his defensive line. This is another year of freakish defensive linemen. Georgia, I think they lost two linemen to the draft, or one lineman to the draft. It's going to be hard to keep up with that Clemson what, defensive line. I, I, think, I think Georgia looks back to the defensive backs that Clemson had last year, though, that are coming back when Ohio State torched them at the end of the year Very and, true. and ran torched. straight past them. And JT Daniels can sling it. So I think, I think he goes over the top on him a couple times. Hey, yes, this is what I'm going to say. And we're going to end it, and then we're going to talk about our bet. Wait, where way. is where's what? Clemson is not designed to get 
hit in the mouth all day long. No. no. When do, what games do they lose? Usually to Bama. But <laughs> in the natty. But when they get hit in the mouth all game long, so it's those, they struggle. Right. So what does Georgia and the SEC do? They're gonna going to hit say. you in the mouth. Go dogs. All day SEC. It. It. They're going to yeah. hit you in the yeah. mouth. Um, before we get to the news of the week, um, we do have to always, we will, going live? You going live? No, that's, that's snap, Snapchat. We'll snap. Just to show the people uh, that we're we out do, here talking. We, we will always we're have wagers and bets between, Coco between the squad. Uh, there was one set about a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it was about two weeks. weeks ago, about two weeks ago. And, and you know what, JMJ? I'm going to let you read this and let our fans understand <laughs> how obscene and easy $100 is coming to store. Um, Joshua, the ISU graduate and alumni. Yes, sir. Claims that... Homer. Um, ISU, which is, I think this might be their highest ranking they've ever had in their program. That, that's correct. That's correct. Uh, ISU has started preseason. this preseason ranking as number 17 in the country. Uh, Josh thinks they'll stay there within the top 10. Uh, the rest of us think that he's uh, crazy uh, because ISU, I think, in my opinion, is going to do regular ISU shit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> It's supposed to be a pause. Sorry, guys. And then stuff. Uh, they're going to do regular ISU stuff, which is just, they're going to fall. They're going to fall apart. Okay. Um, I mean, it's very valid. They're going to, so what I mean by fall apart is they're going to win the games that they're, they're supposed not supposed to win. To win. Nope. They're going to win the games they're not supposed to the, win. They'll probably, what you're thinking is they're, they're going to lose a game that yeah. they're not supposed to There's lose. There's going to be a team that they're, that they have no you're, business losing. You're thinking to. like, you know, they're going to go and beat Oklahoma on the road and then go and lose against TCU. Correct. No, they, I mean, they're going to go gonna and lose beat to Oklahoma someone they on the have road no business and then they're going to lose week one. Which is what ISU Sports they're gonna go do. They're going to go 0-2 to start. This is what ISU Sports <laughs> do, right? <laughs> Good try. Basketball, what ISU my $100 does. is coming in my pocket. So that's what the bet is. Um, Josh thinks ISU is going to stay in the top 10. I don't think that's happening. End there's of the n- season. There's no, I don't think there's any way that's happening. I, there's, I will, there's no way it's happening. I will give Iowa State Hundo. cred, though. They do, they do have some dogs on the team with, with Rose at linebacker, correct? Rose. And then you got Brees Hall, who Rouse. might, who's got a chance to win. Nice, man. Yes, sir. And then. Got Brock Purdy. You know? The hype man himself, hey. Brock Purdy. Hey, we'll see what happens. The long year. What I think is going to happen, I think, I think Iowa State has a very strong team. And plus, you cannot go wrong with head coach Matt Campbell. I mean, that guy, that guy's a beast. Uh, he gets State his players He's ready. done some stuff. He's, he's he gets done his players ready. Program. You think so? Okay. He gets um, his players All right, moving on. We, we got to well, get to the well, You know, we got our picks. So, got that picks. Was like, so that was like the whole brunt oh, of yeah, this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The main, right? The meat. This was the meat of this whole podcast. And now it's and the fun. I, I mean, that was fun for me. But I, I'm, no, I'm juiced I mean, up. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't wait for UAB God, versus Jacksonville State. Alert? Who? UAB versus Jacksonville State tomorrow night. I can't wait for the opening to this college football season. Who? Cannot wait. Uh, um, last week? Go ahead, Stoy. I need to get a drink. I need to get it. Hey, pour me up. Thank you. Appreciate it. Pour me up, dude. Yeah, obviously. Oh. Um, James lost all year already. Yeah, so he's no, our This he's podcast our drink is guy. the meat of this right here. Uh, making picks, talking banter back and forth. Um, first one going through. This is, is a good run on. Next part is is mainly going to be about the news of the week, right? So easy. Um, <laughs> the news of the week. What's happening? What's going on in the world? NFL, college, big high school, high school. <laughs> well, well, JUCO's college. JUCO's college. <laughs> you're you're uh, you're not um, wrong. And Thanks. so we're gonna bring those up. To, to be fair, we're we're talking on a Tuesday, so a lot of news happened literally today. And uh, what, what Saturday, Sunday, whatever, whatever that one high school played, <laughs> JUCO. I don't know what it is. Still. Um, but we'll bring these up, and, and these are things that uh, I'm sure every media place is blown up. But we got to because these stories are <laughs> these stories are uh, <laughs> really, really they, shocking, uh, sh- shocking, should, insane. Should never have um, happened. I don't Did disagree you just with mix that. Mix my Woodford with Booker's. You mean I had a your little bookers left. with? Yeah, my bookers because yeah. bookers is better. Who? <laughs> and it's my uh, black man. Shadow, you like the glasses? Absolutely. Swag? Do you want swag? No, we'll have swag for sure. Swag coming though. Oh yeah, can't wait. Have you said the news yet? The news? No, we wait no. for you. Oh baby, because we oh, know you I can't we knew wait you were going to get excited. Right, I can't here. wait for this. <laughs> you ready? So what we're going to do here is every week we're going to give you guys. If there's big news, if something big happened in sports, we're going to have to tell you, right? 
What's the biggest? What is the <sighs> biggest news of this week? I don't even know where to start. Uh, just the name. Bishop Sycamore. Um, who? Bishop. Bishop Sycamore. Sycamore. Wait, one um, more time. Who? So, uh, ESPN televised a high school football game. High school. With IMG Academy. The air quoted again in case you guys were wondering. IMG Academy. Uh, shout out to IMG, IMG. I worked there for three years. It's the best shout out I had in my life. Uh, Besides this one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Bishop Sycamore plays IMG on Saturday on ESPN. And as we're watching this football game, I was watching it because I just watch football all the time. Um, you can hear the commentators say in the game, uh, we can't find any information about any of these football players. We can't find information on Rivals.com. We can't find information about them on ESPN. We can't find information about any of these players anywhere on the internet. Why is that, James? So, <laughs> IMG wins this game 58 points that to zero. <laughs> IMG wins this game 58 to nothing. And then we come to find out that what? Bishop Sycamore is not even a real place. Who? The address a- is a random apartment oh. building. <laughs> the head coach has an active warrant out for his arrest. Um, actually, fired. Former head coach. Yeah, former, Correct. former head Just coach. Just got fired. Former. Active warrant for his arrest. James might apply. As you... <laughs> They've, they've made it big time. They made it hey, to ESPN, got, they saw, so hey, they, they got some TV new, time. Hey, they signed a new quarterback. Yeah, Cam, Cam Newton. Newton. Which um, we'll talk about next. So, so <laughs> the address is an apartment building. The coach is a uh, felon. Former coach. Um, and if you, ever, if you watch the game, they weren't even running real plays. What, what it was the, like watching little James just start a tackle football. It's like watching my 10-year-old son and their team running plays, Against. and these were high school kids. And then we also come to find out that everyone on the Bishop Sycamore roster is in college. At least. Or, or At least has gone to a JUCO or a community college. The whole damn <laughs> roster. And they lost 58 nothing to a high school team. Oops. I am done. Well, one of the best parts about that whole thing was... Oh, my God. There was, there was a... There was a <laughs> <laughs> I, hope that camera got it. I mean, I had to, but there was there was a guy on Bishop Sycamore or Bishop Sycamore that got hurt. Sycamore Bishop. Oh, exactly. Um, that's exactly what ESPN said because he wasn't even on the roster that ESPN had. A, a guy gets hurt on national television, and ESPN doesn't have him on a listed roster. You'd think they'd do their research, right? No, not. no, that whole, I don't even, I just, I don't mean I, to, people, I'm gonna, I'm people, gonna be, I don't mean to yell, but this, that's one of the craziest sports stories. I'm going to, I'm going to play devil's advocate here. I think there's somebody at you on our ESPN. You and I? Yeah. Go, go, go cats. Uh, sorry. I'm fired up. <laughs> Cat, cats going to beat the, cats going to beat <laughs> the cyclones. But anyways, I think there's somebody at ESPN. They, they had to known something, right? There's no way that ESPN does their due diligence and vets this out and lets this happen. Disney baby, you guys, I can't, uh, I can't comment on this situation because it is so outlandish. I, the, I agree. With like that. I don't, I, I can't wait. You, can't you can't comment. That. I can't wait for the thirty for thirty. There's got to be a thirty for thirty on this, right? And it's gonna be oh, yeah. crazy. I'm gonna watch it. They're gonna make a ton of money off of it. As we're sitting here talking about football, I get a text from my running back. I'm the running back coach at Valley High School. I don't think we've said that yet. Go Valley, Tigers. that's about five hundred dollars. Ooh. Go Tigers. Valley High School out here in West Des Moines, Iowa. I'm the running back coach for them. My running back, Danny Rankings, it, junior. I, you guys don't know about him yet, but you will because we're going to show clips of him, is a beast. And he got an official visit to Iowa State. So on Saturday, he's going to the Iowa State game. Hey, hey, Why would hey, you? Hey, wait, hey, wait, wait, no, wait. No, 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 no. You just because that. of no, no, Iowa State. This is Not good for Danny. Danny. No, it's great no, for no. Danny. Yeah, we're, don't do that for it's Danny. Just, no, just we're doing it for Iowa State. State. Oh, okay. Yeah, but no, Danny. For Danny, I'm very excited. All the love for Danny. Danny, okay, Danny, just a little background of Danny. He doesn't have really parents in his life, so he lives with a family that has taken him in and like taken him under his wing, and they're called the Brands Guards, and they're probably the nicest Caucasian family you're ever going to meet, and they took Danny under his wing, so stuff like this gets me excited that a school like Iowa State wants Danny. Dang right. I agree. And the best, I mean, one of the best running back coaches teaching him. Absolutely. I don't. Plus, I, I mean, the best linebackers coach who's watched film with him to help him. And we're just helping but him. But shout out to, uh, to, to James on this. Um, 
and and not. I don't want to shout out. I just want to love for Danny. Okay, love for I Danny. Think is awesome. That but we're going uh, game. first game with great cleats, and I, <gasps> I think something that is will come down the pipeline from Black Mammoth um, will be kind of a mentorship. We need I think it. that's that's what James is going to head up. And the great thing about that is there's kids around the nation that don't have cleats, don't have gloves, don't nothing. have they don't a have, lot. They have nothing. They might have wore the same cleats for three years, yep. four years, five it's, years, it's or really sad. life. And as as athletes, obviously you didn't wear cleats though. Um, and hey, and James and Josh didn't do anything. Um, cool. But like your feet, your feet are important. Your feet hurt. You're uncomfortable. You don't perform well. And that's, that's just that's just the cleats. Your your equipment's worn down. Oh. I mean, you're at risk for injury the whole time. Yeah. So he puts on new cleats, rushes for 92 yards, two touchdowns. Three. 95 yards. 95. I apologize. Three touchdowns, and he once we break down that film story. Oh, we gonna break. Down. The boy was running. He's he's, run, he's he runs. He runs. He runs. He runs. And and he's hit the hole a right. little harder. No, but he's he, a shifty but, runner. He's a shifty runner. Tempo. Runner. But he's tempo getting runner. off topic. <laughs> so <laughs> moving the other, on. The other news we have, obviously, uh, if. Unless you live underneath the a new rock. The new quarterback for Bishop Sycamore is. The new, <laughs> the new quarterback for Bishop Sycamore is our buddy Cam Newton, the best dressed player in the NFL. MVP. And I wish you could see my face as I'm saying that because he's the, a terrible dresser and I hate his hats. I'm sorry. He I love his fashion. Cut. He and Russell Bill Westbrook. Bill Belichick has cut him. He and Russell Newton Westbrook. Patriots. Best I'm dressers. Sorry, but I'm sorry. No, 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 the news, though. The news. He got cut by the, the Patriots. Patriots. He was the starting quarterback. Cut. Got cut. Why did he get cut is the question, right? We're all, we're all wondering that. No, no, we know. Belichick's never going to say it. No, I, we know. Right. Belichick's yeah. never going to say Mac it. Mac Jones is better than him. Mac Jones is better than him, but yep. why was he able to, to see that Mac Jones is better than him? Because Bill Belichick is uh, the Nick Saban of NFL. Or uh, mainly or, because uh, Cam Newton is an unvaccinated player, not going to get political at all. Unvaccinated in the NFL, if you're unvaccinated and – you are in close contact. You have five days that you have to well, well, not he, practice. And he's also not that good. What ha- well, I mean, we'll get to that. But Mac Jones went 18 for 18, 21, I think, for 23 in the joint practice with the Giants. Yeah, he's a beast. The, like a day or two before Cam Newton gets back. Mm-hmm. Belichick I, went done, signed. I Mac mean, I, I, think he, I think he meets the eye test, too. Uh, you saw his combine photo, and you saw Tom Brady's combine photo. Exactly, bingo. And ding, 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 ding. He meets the eye test. And, 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 and Josh McDaniels, um, he had said that the offense they run is very much similar to the Tom Brady offense with only Mac Jones. Why would they not want to get back to that? I think it was smart for Belichick to get rid of Cam. Mac Jones is a piece of dude. Now, okay. who's their backup, though? Um, but that's that's for the, <laughs> that's, that's, that's for an NFL show. That's a big show. question. That's, we're going to end this. Week. We're going to end this. We've been here. This has been do, great. Do we think? Do we think Cam Newton no, 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 goes no, somewhere no. though? We're going to talk about NFL next, next week. week. We just had to say we've had news. enough. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Okay. Yep. We got one more thing to talk about this week. It's been a great show. So as we've been talking about college football all day, the obvious way you have to end this is who do we think is going to make the playoff? That's what anyone ever calls about, cares about, right? Playoffs. Yeah. Sounds like James J gets to go first. Um, let's just go first pick. All the way through. Oh, I mean, that's easy. Bama. 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 That's Bama. not. Okay, that's a, now let's that's move a good on. lock. Now that's a good next, lock. My Bama, second, next three. Everyone has Bama. Let's go to the next three. My second pick in is Clemson. Story. Uh, Georgia. Ryan. Georgia. I, I, I'm a Georgia guy, too. I'm a Georgia guy on that one, too. What? I changed it. It's in the, it's, yeah, it's updated. It. You know what? I, I did some more, I did some more uh, light reading <laughs> and reading. I just, I just like Georgia. Yeah, you should. I like Josh, Georgia a lot. Like them. I good. think, I think this one uh, is very interesting to me. I think uh, it's going to be Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. As much o- as I hate o- to say o- it. Oklahoma over Iowa. Josh, I who are your other two picks? I think. Oh, hand clap. Nah, put that away. Nah, uh, put that away. I do think it's going to be Oklahoma. I think Georgia loses in the SEC championship. That's why they're not ahead of Oklahoma. But then <laughs> after that, I have Georgia. <laughs> All right, so, so you have one three. more. Uh, so and then finally, well it might as well just say, uh, right. I think Ohio State is going to be in there as well. Too big of a powerhouse. Um, that's just my so Josh, top four is Alabama, Oklahoma, Georgia, Ohio State, Buckeyes. Ryan, finish your uh, four out. Uh, like I said earlier, I am riding with Notre Dame all year. Mm-hmm. I think Notre Dame breaks through. I think they get into the playoff this year. And I agree with Josh. I think Ohio State wins a Big Ten. And I think they get into that playoff. So Ryan's got Bama, Georgia, Ohio State, Notre Dame, Stoy. I am so tired of the playoffs um, of where they're out. <laughs> they can't be four. 
Well, that another topic, another episode, more. but it cannot be four. Right. Uh, it doesn't make more. sense. Um, way more. But with that Give being the people said, what they want. I, right. We want more. I've seen Oregon last year breaking through. I think Pac-12 is going to break through. Oregon will be in. Um, and then I think Wisconsin. I think Wisconsin will edge Ohio State coming out of the Big Ten. It will be between those two. Um, and those are my top four. Bama, Georgia, Oregon. Um, my four, Bama, Clemson, Georgia, and the Sooners. So basic. I mean, so it, you, it is pretty you basic. Could not do you think, I, you, I, you I, think I'm going straight chalk, and I don't care because yeah. they are the I, best teams in the world right now. So I have a question I, for you. You see, you see Clemson losing the first game against Georgia. How do you see them making it back in? They're not going to lose again. Pass but in but if if They're Wisconsin or Ohio State, State a game. if Wisconsin or Ohio State wins the Big Ten and goes undefeated, and goes undefeated, what do you think? How does Clem, how does Clemson get in? They're not, they probably shouldn't, but we don't know yet. They might um, basically solely on name recognition. They might get in. If they lose game one and True. win out, Clemson. Yeah, these, these picks are locked. They can't change. NCAA does like this. They Correct. Like money. They, money. Do. they do. Clemson is going to bring you money. Let's, let's yes, sir. Dabo. But, hey, great episode. Episode Absolutely. one. Absolutely. Right. This was fun, fellas. This was fun. This Absolutely. was good. This was fun. Um, great things coming, right? No BS. Um, just the regular. I'm talking about money. Money. <laughs> that'll, that'll be unfiltered, by the way. That'll be coming out very, very shortly. Um, next week. Obviously, we'll do a little recap of the games and where we're at with the standings, uh, but also hitting up uh, some of the college games uh, as well. I also want to give a shout out again, Black Mammoth. Always, we're in there. We in there. We in here. Yeah. We in here. Yeah. As well yeah. as uh, Coco Creatives, uh, big deal as well. And then music, obviously, you'll be hitting upon that as well. Um, Nate, Nate, Tyler, Nate, Tyler, 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 Tyler Lauer. No, I know. Just <laughs> inside joke, uh, Josh always says my brother, and I never know which one because he never says his name. It's, it's, but Tyler, it's Tyler Claver, um, it will be doing our music. He'll be, he'll be our music guy. So when we have different musics, it's going to come mainly from Tyler unless we can get one song that James wants so badly. Um, <laughs> we, did, we, get, we did get the preview, though, of Tyler, and pretty it's, it's pretty hey, dope. It's legit. It's, it's legit. legit. Um, but hey, follow us, like us. What are all the other things? I'm I mean, we're we're gonna we're gonna bring out we're gonna bring out Instagram, we're gonna bring out TikTok, we're gonna bring out YouTube, we're gonna do all this stuff. We're gonna blast all over social medias, and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna blast all over uh, any podcast uh, forum that you guys can find. So wherever you guys listen, uh, like, subscribe, uh, share. Yeah, hit us up with any questions you need. We'll be pretty good at responding. You know, on whether whatever platform it is on, we'll please, be there to answer your questions. Please call out JMJ and all his picks <laughs> because I he's want, not going to remember I them. I want the banter. <laughs> I want the banter. Please call me out. It'll Absolutely, be fun. please. But we yes. we appreciate it. Um, cheers to everyone who's been watching. Um, stay with us. Cheers, and uh, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> oh, we have to make him touch. Oh yeah. <laughs> What's so wrong with him? What is that? Well then, it's time.